So, today we are once again doing pale ales. This time it is Pelican Brewery versus Bowie Brewery. Bowie's out in Astoria, Pelican's at Tillamook, both are on the Oregon coast. So, should be a fun matchup. Uh, next, next time we will definitely switch it up from pale ales, but after doing the, the Deschutes and the Mackenzie, it reminded me of these two beers, and I really wanted to do these two. So, we're gonna get after these guys right here. Should be tasty. All right. Should oh, these are great. Have tasty. you had these before? I feel like the, the can looks familiar, but I don't know. Are you gonna mess it up again? Uh, probably, Dude, yeah. you just tilt it further. You barely tilt. For someone who drank so much beer, you're a total <laughs> rookie at pouring. Well, I usually you see, see this? It out of the can. Oh, well, actually, that's turned out pretty good. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's a good one. Well, there's a little bit of glug. Perfect. There you go. There we are. Very pretty. All right. Oh. So that is a. It's very. It's not entirely clear, is it? No, it's got a little haziness. It's, yeah, it is a little bit. I can think I can even see dead yeast floating no, around there. Look at that. Definitely some yeast in there. The show. The show. All right. It smells delicious. I do. Mmm. We messed up. We did this totally wrong. Why is that? Cheers. No, cheers. Cheers. Indeed. Ooh. Yeah, that's tasty. That's tasty. Yeah. So right right off, right off the back, I'm getting I'm just gonna say the, the citrusy hops are coming in. Definitely. But there's definitely there's definitely still a strong bitterness to it. Yeah, no, the bitterness is definitely there. Yeah, I was gonna say I can't really like put uh, what here, let's see let's that. see what does it say that we're supposed to taste? White peach and gooseberry. I don't what? I don't know what either of those things are. New Zealand hop character aromas of oh aromas of white peach and gooseberry. This liquid sunshine is chock full of bright zesty aromas reminiscent of yeah reminiscent of gooseberries and white peach, a crisp balance of toasty malt flavor and tropical fruit character. It's tempered by a hint of honey like sweetness. Hmm. This oceanic pale ale has a clean light body and a lively refreshing finish. Whether celebrating your river paddle surf session or just scheming for your next... Ah, I don't need to read all that. It's a lot of reading for me. What are you getting? I want to say grapefruit. Yeah. Yeah. What no, about you? Uh, white peach and gooseberry, dude. That, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah, I'm yeah. smelling. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just white peach and gooseberry. The gooseberry. I was I was talking oh, about flavor. Oh, I flavor. Couldn't, I couldn't. I can't oh, spell it. No, no, no. It smells no. like beer. The beer. flavor. No, I'd say yeah, it's like a clean maltiness and uh, 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 don't don't look at the can. <laughs> and it has a New Zealand. You want to claim? You want to claim to be so <laughs> refined in your palate? You can pick up on all this. I know you can. No. It, yeah. Like. Yeah, fruity, citrusy, a little bit of pine, a little bit of malt. I'm good. not getting pine. I'm getting, I'm getting the, the slightest bit. Slightest maybe bit. maybe it's because my sense of smell is so terrible. I think I think you're a little bit better at tasting individual flavors than I am. That is possible. I did burn the shit out of my tongue on some coffee this morning, so that might have affected my taste. But yeah, no. Seriously, I'm getting like a like it. It's kind of a. I'm getting a kind of, from the hops here. I'm getting kind of a grapefruit. Reminiscent flavor, okay. but that. then it's backed by a traditional hot bitterness, yeah. which kind of gives it, kind of gives it a, a clean finish. Definitely. No, yeah, no, it is, it is, it is refreshing. It doesn't have that like cloying, like no, 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 kind of like. Oh, you mean when the hops just sort of stick with yeah. you? Yeah, you yeah which I'm have not, this hoppy aftertaste. That, I'm not necessarily opposed to, but yeah, this definitely doesn't have that. I feel like it's just like less like over. That's not a bad thing necessarily. It's bad when you're trying to session. Right, exactly. If you're yeah. trying to session yeah. beer and you just every sip, you just get the lingering right. hoppiness of it. Yeah, no. If you're having a beer with some food, like a nice, very, very hoppy IPA, it is solid. But yeah, definitely. Five point seven percent alcohol. 
And we've got 40. 40. I, yeah. Yeah, you know, I almost would have guessed a little more. Yeah, a but. little bit. Yeah. It definitely has noticeable bitterness. So this is a Pacific. So the other so one was an Oceanic. We were just we were just talking about original gravity, and I'm going to get right back on that in a second. But Oceanic. First, I, first we need to drink this versus Pacific. So what do I like more, the Pacific or the Oceanic? That's really the question. Here. I'm tilting it more. I, so it's, what's with the with the turning it weird? You don't just pour it right out of the thing. Yeah, because if you, it doesn't glug this way. Wow, this is way lighter and clearer. So for right off the bat, those are the first two things I'm noticing. Way lighter, way oh, clearer. And I didn't, I didn't get enough gluggage. That's ah, a little bit ahead. Okay, get the get the condensation off. Yeah. I mean, so this is, is a... this is what they're talking about. This is what it's supposed to. Our, our camera quality is probably too poor for this to really be seen but you can if i can turn it around so you can see the label through the back of my beer you can read a newspaper through this fucking beer it's it's clear so that's that's what they mean by pale color isn't as important well actually the, uh, the classic original style is not light and it's it's always a little bit darker uh but it's it's supposed to be clear that's what makes it a pale so do you drink already I you took a sip. It's but no, right. it tears. It, it, oh, now you got it. Right. Come on. There you are. Cheers. cheers. It, it tastes completely different. Like, I don't even know how to describe <clears> it. <throat> it is like toasted. I don't even know. It's what. less hoppy. I can taste that it's, already. It's less That's hoppy. That's the first thing I'm noticing. Less hoppy, more 30 bitter. IBUs. Yeah, That's so it's so... Uh, 10 IBUs. 10 IBUs under. It's it's it tastes more bitter though. I swear to God, it tastes more bitter. I I swear I it. But yeah, no, it's it is totally different, totally different flavor profile. What do they say? I um, want to say lighter body too. They say fresh cit fresh citrusy and to tropical. None of those things are what came to mind. I mean, especially after this. This was yeah yeah maybe, maybe it's gonna take a minute. That's true. So it's 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 lighter body. And it's less hoppy. You're saying it's like more bitter. I'm getting more. I, I agree that it. You get a little bit more more bitterness flavor than than fruity flavor, it, but it's substantially less hoppy than that one. The flavor that I. It's getting. definitely got a lighter body to it. This this is it's it's a it, it's a lighter beer. It drinks easier. I don't know if I agree with you. I, I don't know what's going on in my mouth right now. But this it tastes like you popcorn. Just it tastes like right popcorn. Down. It tastes like buttered popcorn to me. That's what Hold it is. On. I've been trying I've been trying to put a finger on and that's what it is. It tastes like popcorn. Are you getting a corny flavor? I, I, I can I can very vaguely see what you're on about. I'm not sure I'd agree with it. Okay. But well, hold on. I think this is a great idea. We should, whenever we're doing the craft craft beers, because they always tell you what you're supposed to taste, mm -hmm. we should drink these, try and say what we're tasting, and see, and then see what they say we're supposed to <laughs> so taste. So we're not influenced by their, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Right? Because you read it, it's like, oh, yeah, of course, gooseberries and white peach. Oh, right? yeah. It was on the tip of my That's tongue. Exactly. That's exactly. exactly what yeah. I wanted to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, okay, for sure, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, like, honestly, I'm getting, like, like corn puffs, like. Well, you see how much of mine has already gone down. Holy it's shit! Like this, Jesus. I keep sipping away at it. it. Does this is this not more sessionable to you? I don't know. There's something about it's, it. It's I'm not like a. It's got like a. It's a lighter body. It's not as. It's not as hoppy. It just. It just wants to be consumed. Maybe I'm just having a stroke or something, but I swear it tastes completely different, and I don't know if I, it, I prefer it, it. It tastes completely different. I didn't say I prefer it. Okay. But I didn't say it's that. It's more, it's more sessionable. I said it's more... It it drinks... It drinks easy. It's it's a, it's lighter bodied. This one's this one's fuller bodied. Literally more dense. Yeah. yeah. By the way, I'm going to get back onto my original gravity thing in just a moment. But, first we're going to finish up our thoughts here. 
I like it. Obviously, it's beer. I like it. But like okay, now, now I want to. Sorry, finish your thought. No, no, can. It just has such. I can't. It's just driving me crazy because it smell. It smells. It tastes like something that I want to. I can't put my finger on. It tastes like it tastes like oh, something familiar. Here, the description itself is pretty vague. I'm gonna read this out. Fresh, citrusy, tropical. Our Pacific Pale Ale carries you away to where the ocean is limitless, the mountains are painted, and the backyard is filled with forests and streams. Balanced with bright tropical hops and a subtle malt bill, Pacific Pale captures the wonderful... Oh, captures the wonderland of the Pacific Northwest. You notice neither of us can really make it through a paragraph without <laughs> a reading error. <laughs> I went to college. No, I didn't. I didn't go to college. I didn't waste my money. I got the old good enough diploma. Yeah, hell yeah. GED. Same. I love that. Yeah, yeah you don't even have one. You <laughs> filthy degenerate. No. I love the Ron White bit. You know, I, I, I. What was the joke? No, I remember now. Uh, the Ron White joke. I got a GED. If you don't know what that stands for, you, you probably got one too. <laughs> Jeez, I'm almost, I'm almost done with this thing, and I'm still working on how to describe the flavor. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, I mean, I see where you're coming from with the popcorn thing. It's not. It's got a little popcorn flavor. No, no, it does. I swear to it's, God, it's, yeah. it's not the first thing I thought of, but I can see what you mean. It's interesting. It's buttery. That's buttery. What, it's buttery. Maybe that's that's, that's, that's what, what really... you. That's what it is, isn't it? It has that, it's, it's like... It's kind of buttery. Like, I don't want to say fake butter, but, like, that, you know, that, like, liquid butter flavor. Yeah. That's what it is. Actually, yeah, popcorn actually butter. Does. That's what it is. That's, it's not the popcorn itself. It's the popcorn butter. That's totally what it is. Do you want to literally do it? Because I have two more glasses. We could have a pint and a pint. And we could just, like, take sips from each and compare them literally back to back. But that's what we did last time. Is that what we did? What, do you not remember? No, I forgot. We had four beers. I smoked too no, much we just, weed. We just, you, you clearly do. We had two at the same time. <laughs> Oops. That's, that's the tried and tested system we're going for here. We have one of each so we can experience them on their own, and then we drink them literally at the same time to truly determine which is better. And that's the show. All right. Hello. So, I still need to finish my rant on original gravity, but I think before we do that, we should just so just so you have something to drink while I'm going on and on, let's let's just pour it in. I just noticed for continuity's sake, that clock in the background is not gonna be ideal. Not that we're too worried. Continuity, about I don't think that's a concern. I'm just saying like you know when there's like a jump cut. So you don't you're just not tilting far enough. Here, watch. No tilt further. Yeah. Okay. That's you probably just, what it is. See, you tilt it like this. See, I've got I've got virtually no foam here, right? I wait, I wait, and then I go for some glugging. So and you there intentionally we are. Intentionally glug. Okay, yeah, well, that's yeah, yeah. interesting. Well, because you can always add more. Oops, I even went a little a little hard on that one. You can always you know dump it at the end, but if you start too strong, you get a whole bunch of foam. You can't really fix that later, can you? Yeah. No. Okay, so yeah, this really kind of shows what we were talking about. I mean, this is, I mean, there's condensation on it already. But as far as clarity, I mean, this one is definitely clearer than this. This is more of an amber color, too. The no, amber. they're both pretty golden. Well, I would say that, I would say that the, the pelican is more amber. I mean, right. I mean closer to it, but oh, look at it. it's a deeper golden color. Yeah, maybe. exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's deeper. It's it's deep. I'll we'll just be in the deck. Yeah, probably. All right. Probably both. Which? Oh shit! Which was which? Uh, Pelican. Oh yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, the buoy. Because right, that's easy. To, it's easy to tell because yeah, the yeah. buoy's clear as hell. Well, let's start with this one. All right. Let's do this proper. Cheers. Cheers. So I gotta say, of the two, before even going back to this, you land. I think I prefer that. Well, give me give me one second. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll get there in a minute. I still need. This is going to be such a sloppy edit of all the various times I go. But no, wait! I have to go back into what a pale ale is. Hold on. Yeah. No. So original gravity. Original gravity. Before we get into 
exactly the rules of, of what a pale ale is and isn't. We need to, to discuss original gravity and what that means. Yes. Original gravity is the amount of extract in the beer before the ferment. Okay. So before you pitch the yeast, after you're done steeping the grains, boiling your wort, all that, mm -hmm. right before you put it in the fermenter and pitch the yeast, you measure the original gravity, and that is the amount of grain extract, of extracted grain stuff okay. in your beer. And the way they measure this is density. Okay. So they use distilled water for their base. Okay. So for the measurement, distilled water has a density of one. Okay. And a typical pale ale, for example, has a density of, oh, let's see here, 1.04 to 1.05. Okay. If you're talking about the classic style. So not like too crazy. Yeah. So it's that's all original gravity. It's just literally how dense is the beer at the start of ferment. Okay. That's interesting. So if, if, I, can, if I can... Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. it's before it's fermented. Because mm. the, the final gravity is going to be less. Okay. Because all these sugars that were in the beer Again. have been converted to alcohol. Yeah. So the final gravity is going to be less, okay. but that's what original gravity is. They use distilled water. The density of distilled water is their base, okay. and that's just one. Uh -huh. And then, so that that's what that is. When you see numbers like that in in front of beer, and it's it's one point zero four, one point zero five. <laughs> that's you know distilled water is, has a density of one. Okay. This beer has an original gravity. A density of 1.04. Okay, okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, no, it does. And there's more ways to 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 measure original gravity, but quite frankly, I got confused, mm -hmm. and I'm sticking to the simple one. Okay. So to wrap up all my ramblings, the classic British style pale ale is supposed to have a darker color than than this gold stuff we're dealing with here. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be more amber, varying to very dark, but it's supposed to be clear. Okay, so no haziness. Yes, that, that's what makes it a pale, is that it's clear. And it's, it's mostly, these, these mostly made from the fully modified British two-row pale malts. Okay. So that means they've been allowed to germinate quite a bit. And they've got all the sugars and enzymes needed, but that, all that pale malt is the food for the yeast that okay. make alcohol and then they add a little bit of specialty malts such as amber brown or even chocolate malt okay which okay. are again roasted at higher temperatures okay. or dried at higher temperatures roasted even and that adds some more interesting character notes to the beer and the sense. the ibu international bitterness units the ibu range is about 20 to 50. And the inter international, uh, geez. and the original gravity, that range is about 1.04 to 1.05. Okay. So that's that's what you're dealing with, the, the classic style. Now the American style, uh, we were brewing essentially British style pale ales just in America with the <laughs> ingredients we had. Mm -hmm. But in, actually, in America, we had a great, a pretty big variety of, of beers being brewed until the, uh, the oh, fuck, why am I drawing a blank on what it's called? The, until, you, you know, when they didn't allow beer anymore. What do they call that? Prohibition. Again? Prohibition. That's right. That's what it's drawing a blank on. Until Prohibition. Prohibition fucked us. It yeah. fucked us. Yeah. Because okay. almost all the breweries died. Oh, God. And that's why we were left with just a handful of them. Those bastards. And you so we didn't we didn't beautiful. start brewing pale ales again until the microbrewery kickoff in the nineteen eighties. And then and then we readopted the classic American style or the classic British style pale ale. But of course, this being America, we've never really followed the rules very well. So they range quite a bit. I mean, as you can see, these here are already I mean they're they're not they're quite frankly too golden, and one isn't even really clear, is it? It's 
the pelican is, is kind of it's a little hazy it's to it. Haze. Yeah. Uh, the mirror pond actually is a lot like a classic. There's like some core styles of beer that different beers fit into, but at, at the end of the day, not just in America, but all over the world, mm -hmm. there's so many different breweries, so many different beers. I think there's a conservative estimate, according to this book here, is there's 20,000 different sub-styles of beer. Oh, I'm sure. And that's the ones they could find. Jesus. So yeah. there's so many variations that you can have some core styles to sort of outline what you're what you're looking at on the beer spectrum but like they all blend together right it would take 54.79 years to try every style if you did one a day challenge accepted yeah i know right i got about that many years <laughs> left <laughs> maybe if i'm lucky oh yeah we'd be in our 70s yeah yeah just like it would literally end like beer fest like that scene he's like prost <laughs> like <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The German grandma just drinks himself to death in the hospital bed. That's so great. That's how I want to go out. Man. Just pulls the IV. Yeah. He's like, fuck it. Yeah. 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 Can go out with a stomach full of beer. Not a bad way to go, right? Not bad. Not bad. Here's nice. If you're in Oregon, you'll be able to find at any Safeway, Fred Meyer, or whatever. You'll be able to find Bowie, uh, either their IPA or the Czech Pilsner. The Czech Pilsner is real nice. They. They did real good on that. It's crisp and clean. Just the IPA is good too, but but no. So I, agree. I I think they do a great job of not getting carried away and making things well balanced. Yeah. And I would describe this beer as well balanced. Definitely. And it is right. It, yeah. it drinks nice. You got. You got a bit of hops, and they're they're interesting. It's like you don't even know how to describe the flavor. the thing when you when you frame it in that light. No, it definitely is. Yeah, it is. It but is it's it's beer. it's a very it's very it's a very drinkable beer. It's not it's not that hoppy. It's it doesn't really have very strong assertive flavors. It just sort of washes right down. But this one, the the pelican is. It's got, it's so much stronger in the flavors, and it's so, it's as it's, it's citrusy as it is, like I'm getting like grapefruit, but then it's, then it's got that classic hot bitterness, and it's kind of like got a crisp finish, so I go from this one, and it's easy to drink, and it washes right down, and I go to this one, Very strong flavors, but it's still it got a it's got a crisp finish to it. This is that's the thing. This is is what I'm what I'm looking for when I want you know an Oregon beer. If you hate hops because you're weird, uh, if you hate hops, you're gonna prefer this one. But if you hate hops, what are you doing drinking pale ales? You know, stick to lagers. You go red ale or white claw. Classic red ales. You can drink a nice white claw. We should no. do white claw versus no. Bud Light Seltzer. No. <laughs> You're like, absolutely no. not. We're not doing that until we've totally run out of all other beers. <laughs> Which will take 57.6 years. Yes. When we're 78, yeah. we'll do white claws. All right, we're doing white claw. <laughs> we gotta do a, a Due to our dietary choices, it's unlikely that we'll make it that long. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, I'd be surprised if I have another 57 years. <laughs> Um, the beer's good. I like beer. The beer is the beer is very good. I like this beer more than this beer, but that's just my personal opinion. You know what? You know what? Let's just we're not going to record for the rest of us drinking these beers, but mm. let's just open two more. Okay, fair. We need to. We need more sustenance. You mean two more of each? Or is that what you meant? Or you just want one more pelican? No, oh, yeah, whatever you want to do. Dude. I'll drink them. No, I mean we're not. We're not going to like record for the whole thing. I was just saying. Let's wrap it up with a pelican. Okay, let's wrap right. it up with a pelican. Yeah. A pelican. Well, I I want to bother you guys for too long, but if oh. we drink too many beers, then I'm going to have to hang out here until I can drive again. Oh, I told you I'm making chicken, dude. 
I mean, I'm making chicken and mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. I mean, you're welcome to hang out for a second. Fair enough, we'll bring you two more beers. You're always welcome to hang <laughs> we're, out. We're taking, we're taking down the beers. We won't record for this long. No, it's all good. But dude. let's let's pop open two more because we're, we're out of the beers. We're, you mother... Get them! Get those motherfuckers! <laughs> you know, I know they're trying to save turtles with these... Fuck the turtles, dude. Seriously. So I know they're trying to save turtles <laughs> with these these type of six pack carrier turtles. things, but I mean, at what cost, right? Yeah. It's is it worth being inconvenienced for a few seconds while you try and get a beer out of a six pack? You like that, right? Now. <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Okay, stop leaning on the tables. Now we both need to lean back here. No, you're right, that is majestic. It is majestic. And this is the great thing about having our computer and mic on a separate table, yeah. or surface or whatever, is it doesn't matter if we spill. That is nice. That is important. Now, I see, I get why, why Pelican names all their stuff after, you know, coastal themes, because this is just... It's delicious. Doesn't well no, but doesn't it this, reminds me doesn't of this guy. right? It does in some way. It does. Maybe it's just because it is Pelican. We're already thinking about it, but I just think this would be perfect to drink at at the coast, right? Like cold weather in the middle of November, just rainy. It's cold. It's just warm enough to not get snow. The good kind of cold. But it's just, you got wind, you got rain, you got all that. Everything sucks. You get inside, and you have a nice tall frosty pint of this. Yeah. And it just... Well, it's just... I want to say f it's fresh, right? Oh, yeah. No, it is. It is. And that's why right? I, I was, like, scoffing at them saying that this was fresh, because, like, this is fresh. This is, this is delicious. It gives, uh, this is not it gives you fresh. this, it gives you this, this sort of, just, that, that's a weird way to describe it. It's fresh, but, yeah, it is just, it's fresh, isn't it? Right, it is. And the beautiful thing. It just thing gives you this, like, nice, fresh, hoppy, flowery fucking. Oh, yeah. No, and the beautiful thing about Portland is that. It's 4.30 p.m. right now. We could leave and be at the coast before 6. Like, that's the beautiful thing about it. I mean, well, like, the reason people keep yeah. moving here is because we're between the coastal range and the Cascades. Exactly. Right? This is an hour one way, an hour one way. And then, like, so you could you could drive to the coast in about two hours, in, in like an hour and a half. You could also drive to, the, to fucking Mount Hood in about an hour and a half. And you can also drive to the desert in, like, Four two hours. hours. Two, 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 to two. Four, two to four. No, 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 no. The Cascades are like a line in the sand. And you get over the Cascades, it's desert. It's just desert. Yeah, yeah. dude, the clouds don't so make it over, man. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking desert out there. <laughs> that's wild. Yeah. So that's, have you yeah. not noticed this? No, that's, that's true. <laughs> well, I went to Eastern Oregon once. I went to I went to Ontario one time, and they're literally. Like I, I, I shouldn't say I shouldn't say desert, but it is. There are tumbleweeds in Medford. That's the crazy yeah. thing. There are literally tumbleweeds in Medford, and it's just like yeah, it's wild. Um, but yeah, no, it's. <sighs> a good state. Don't move God here. Damn. But it is a good state. No, do don't, move. No, don't you Unless fucking Unless you're dare. from California. No, no, yeah. no, no. We want everyone who isn't from California. What did you want to do? I want to get back to... I'm going to have to keep that. That's that's fantastic. <laughs> just the thing falling over. Well, you can see it just how precariously the top one. It was on the top yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But... Man, this is getting complex. Like, we just can't... We just can't really put our thumb on this one, can we? It's delicious. I think that's it is very... That's you know what? Yeah, let's it. just... Let's just... Let's just call it. I it's mean, this is, this is getting gratuitous already. I'm gonna have so much editing to do. Fucking hell. God damn. Yeah, but it's just... It's just fresh and citrusy, and then you follow up with that bitterness, and it's just a crisp finish... If you enjoy hoppier beers, you're gonna love the fuck out of this. Oh yeah, better than any IPA, I fucking guarantee. Honestly, it. yeah, no, it's fucking amazing. so much better. I mean, it's no, it's delicious. 
just just fantastic. Oh yeah, no, that's amazing. Yeah, okay. does pale ales are what you want to go for. IPAs generally a little over the top. Yeah. It's it's the, the pale ales are where it's at. Honestly, as far as what you know, Northwest craft breweries have to offer. Best option. Pelican is our pick. Pelican, what what do they call it? The oceanic. Yeah, no, yeah, that's right. Paddle something. Yeah, yeah. In, here, here you go. Pelican Paddleback Oceanic Pale Ale. It's a long ass name, if you ask me. That's the one. Uh, that's our pick. Bowie Pacific Pale Ale. Still good. Bowie, I love you. I always will. This is still a very good beer. But at the end of the day. We gotta go with the pelican. We gotta go with it. Yeah, no, it's delicious. Now we may we may try one of these against Mirror Pond. I don't think either of these beers is taking out Mirror Pond. I think I don't think so. Between the two, the pelican would definitely stand a better chance. But at the same time, yeah, the I pelican is gonna the pelican. It's gonna be like the first Rocky movie yeah. where he goes. The pelican's gonna go the distance. Oh, yeah. But at the end of the day, still, Deschutes is gonna take the game. Deschutes, cake, right? Deschutes. But yeah. I think all all right, that's it. That is that is plenty. Holy shit, an hour and a half. Well, it's a lot longer than we intended, but fuck it. 